Now you may be given a graph and asked to find the inverse of it. Here's a graph. Let's find the inverse of it. You're going to list any of the points that you see on the graph. Then you're going to switch the x and the y in each of those points. Plot those new points and draw your curve through it. Let's see what we can do. Here's a parabola. Are there any points on the parabola that we can see? Well, I see one here at minus 5 and 2. I see another one here at minus 4 and minus 3. I see one at minus 3, minus 6. I see one at minus 2, minus 7. I see one at minus 1, minus 6. See one at zero, negative three, and I see one at one, two. All right, that's all the points that I see on this. So we've listed our points. Switch x and y in each of those points. So negative five, two becomes two, negative five. Negative four, negative three becomes negative 3, negative 4. This becomes negative 6, negative 3. This becomes negative 7, negative 2. This becomes negative 6, negative 1. This becomes negative 3, 0. And 1, 2 becomes 2, 1. See how we switched x and y in each of these? That's how you do it. Then plot each of these new points on your graph. So, we need one at 2, negative 5. 2, negative 5. Negative 3, negative 4. Negative 3, negative 4. We need one at negative 6, negative 3. Negative 6, negative 3. We need one at negative 7, negative 2. Negative 7, negative 2. Negative 6, negative 1. Negative 6, negative 1. Negative 3, 0. Go over to negative 3, it's 0. And 2, 1. 2, 1. Take a look. If you look at those points from this angle, it looks like a parabola. In any case, draw a curve through your new points. That, my friends, is the inverse of the original graph. Do you notice anything special about it? One way to check that you've drawn the correct inverse is to turn your page 45 degrees. A straight line down the middle should be a line of symmetry. And as you can see, the left side and the right side are exactly the same, except for the color because I drew them in different colors. But you can tell that I've drawn the correct inverse because there's a mirror right down the center here. If you don't want to be bothered to turn your page, just put your mirror like that. It's the same on the top as on the bottom. It's just easier to see if it's tilted like that. And that is your three-step process to draw the inverse of any graph.